Welcome along then. Final round time from this week's Lunar New Year GP event. Let's quickly show you. It's still Alex Albon, Pierre Gasly and Royal Court all boosted for you at home. Make sure to let me know down below how you are getting on and hopefully you checked out opening round which was a very good round. How are we doing today so far though? That's the key. Let's bring you through. Qualifying we scored 165 points. Yesterday 351. Final round so far we've improved quite a bit by about eight points I think we are on 176 couple of real players in there as well hence the drop points now we don't usually score 47 46s but 41 42 real players it was tough but we managed to score the best we can let's show you what we are running it's the same as normal but wild car wild core added we've got Gasly and Perez and that is the car setup as well. Now, this is going to be the tricky one today. Yesterday, I had this in the dry, so I scored good points. Monza, that is race number five. If it rains, we're going to struggle on the points. If it's dry, we might be in the points. We're about to find out. And just like in race three and race four, higher team score, real player. So... We're already going to get pushed back in a track that you do not want to be pushed back in. Remember, if you are watching, we should be live this evening for the main account full final round. So make sure to come and check that out. Maybe around half seven time. And we've got a dry race. Come on. So I'm going to go. We're quite close together, but I feel like I need to go hards and hards. We're going to go on to firework and probably street shark can we give it our all hopefully some of the ai pit for wets as well that would be interesting <sighs> we've just got to give it our best shot this is going to be tough but monza is monza we need a good start that rain might only last for a minute so it's only going to get up to around 60 and then it's going to reduce its question is do we go on to the wets or do we not we're chanting it with the hard tires Maybe we should have gone to soft or mediums, but we're going to try and stick it out here. And you can see we've made a decent start. We're into P10 and P16. This rain is going to come early, but it's only supposed to last for a minute. That is the difference. So I might try and hang it out. Not the washing, though. That might get a little bit wet. But we're going to try and keep on the push. We've got Gasly in a great position here, P9. It's going to get even better. He's into P8. We've got to get Perez through a little bit as well. So as we come down the straight, first time round, it is going to start raining. I think it's too early. I think not a lot of people are going to pick. Gasly's up to P7. Perez in the background trying to fight the Alpines. Cannot get through. Rain now coming in, but it is only a minute. I think we just stay on the hards and suck it up here. Hopefully all the AI go to wets. It's not the greatest strategy in the world. We're going to struggle, but I feel like... By the time we get the wets on, it'll be time to get a pit stop again. This is just absolutely risk heaven. This is, if it works, great. If it doesn't, we're going to struggle. And I feel like, I don't know, this is very tricky to know what to do here. I mean, what we are going to do is keep fighting and keep trying to push forward. We've got P6, P7, we're going to try and go past the rival, but we can't. See, it's going to start drying out. If you go to wet, you're only going to be out there one lap, two lap. Everybody's struggling, but everyone is struggling. So if I came in now, I'll actually come out on wet tyres as it starts to dry. Now, we're just going to risk this. We're just going to risk it. We've committed. Rival double stacks. So Verstappen comes out. We're up to P2. Rival double stacking is what we were worried about. And at the moment, we are on full push because of the weather. But we're going to go to hards. Same with Perez. We're pushing Perez. You can see the wet tyres are a lot faster. But the track is drying out. That is the difference. We won't have to pit. We are super slow. But remember, we're in P3. And this is our last pit stop to make. While it dries, it's going to be reducing percentage whilst we're in the pits rival goes through we're in 
We're going to double stack slightly. Yes, we are. Come back out on the hard zone. So this could be a risk. We probably should have pitted for wets and took the advantage, but the track is drying out now and everybody should be on the wets. They are. So even if we don't beat the rival, we should beat the AI because the AI are going to be out there on wet tyres for at least till about lap seven. The only thing is we don't have power unit and he can see rain's coming back in. Rival has pitted again so rival probably did have the better strategy there which is fair enough but we had to risk it where we were and it's not by a million miles now we start motoring and we do start motoring indeed there's hamilton coming out after making a pit stop we're going to keep ahead of him by the look of it as well now we start to really push rival still out there on wet tires so they're going to be struggling we're up to p6 see this is all good for us Perez, P13 into P12. Big points could be coming in Monza. Pass Leclerc. Oh, surely we can get past Leclerc. Thank you. Rival pits, going to go to soft tyres. They're going to be pretty fast. Nothing we can do about that. And Perez is now going to make it into P8. So P5, P8 with wet tyres all out there still. No rain until a minute. So we're going to finish in the dry question is can we catch these wet cars on the dry track p4 now perez into p7 now we're into p3 we've got p2 on wet tires they should all actually pit they are so we're going to move into p2 here and round the final corner if we can get ahead of the red board don't think we will come on hat get me through oh we're through but he's going to get a good exit because of that pit lane exit type push P2, P5. <clears throat> so, Rival's got a decent position, but we're actually going to upset the apple cart, I think, here. He is pushing very hard on the soft. He's probably still going to get us. He's probably still going to take 47, this Rival. Or is he? Because we're pushing as hard as we can. We're right behind the Red Bull, and we're going to take what looks to be P2. Get in. What a run. P5 for Perez. What a running Monza. It was difficult, it was very difficult to know what to do in that race, but considering the team score difference, we've got level 6 Gasly, level 6 Leclerc, so a lot better drivers than we have, and the car was way better than what we had. I will take 43 points, that is a solid return from a very difficult Monza. So, a back-to-back -back real player matchup by the look of it. So, should be another one. That's loads of real matchups so far, which is actually more fun than just racing them bots. We've got Silverstone, over 50% chance of rain. Obviously, 50% chance of rain. If it is wet, it could be a difficult track for us. But where do we qualify? It is, at the moment, P12 and P14. What's it going to be like in the race? Oh, it's going to be wet. Now, Gasly's got good tyre management. Perez, I'm going to stick on to Saar. We need a good start because this track is going to be tough. Remember, Silverstone, everybody pits lap four. And it's an average start from Perez, sadly, because of everything around us. But can we then get the second phase up and running? Where are we going to go? Gasly, P13. Perez is making moves as well. Round the outside we go. And it's both cars now moving forward. Perez got the inside line. He's going to take about two cars here. And he is going to move into P10. What we're probably going to do is do a 3-4. And that is probably going to be with Perez. So we're going to be pushing Perez first of all. Gasly is going to be tough from there. Oh my god, I didn't pick a boost. I swear I picked a boost. Oh no. No wonder. We're going. To, oh, what a rookie mistake. If we can get good points from this race, it's going to be a miracle. Because that is a rookie mistake. We need boosts against these AI. We have just cost ourselves potentially some points. Perez moving up to P9. Showing the power of boosts, you could argue. And he's up to P8. Gasly's there. Can't believe we've made that mistake. That is a mistake you do not want to make in a GP. Not use boosts. But, hey-ho... We've committed now. Oh, I can't believe we didn't. I bet you guys are screaming at home. You haven't picked a boost. 
Well, this is all we got. So Perez is going to go round the outside here of Gasly, taking the inside line for the next corner. You can see actually Gasly's moving up. So Gasly, it's almost like he's still got a boost, but he hasn't. Still going to be wet out there. So we're going to push with Perez. Good stop needed. Bit of clean air. Come through Maggots and Beckett's. And then it's going to be a cruise for Perez to the end. Doing the undercut. We're going to push Gasly. See if we can get past Alonso. We can. P9 for Gasly. Where's Perez going to come back out though? Can he get ahead of the rival? Or at least Sergeant. Rival using his West Ham colours from his from his club. Fair play. Fellow Claret and Blue. And now Gasly's used a lot of tyre. But he's into P7. Perez P14. Not over. Not over this. Gasly with his no boost. Perez with his boost. Rivals out of tyres. This is where we start coming through the field a little bit. That undercut should work a treat. We'll bang on four laps. We're out ahead, but they might just squeeze back past Perez. Gazzy back out. And at the minute, is not going to be. Can he get the Alpine? Down the straight. No boost, remember. It is going to make it harder. And at the minute, we are feeling the effect. P9. Can't believe we did this to ourselves. Can't believe it. We're going to cost us some big points because we would definitely be a lot further right now. But Perez is managing okay, P5. Gasly cannot, just cannot get past. He hasn't got the cornering or the speed that we usually have added on. So what a nightmare. Gasly really holding us up. Can we get the job done? Finally, no, no, we can't. The pa the lack of boost is killing us. Such a mistake. I mean, at least when we, we're not battling for top 10, but we're going to cost ourselves some big points here. We're going to go down to 36. This should be a 40 plus point race. Perez is catching the cars ahead. So maybe he can get us an extra point or two. You can see his bang there behind the rivals. Maybe there's a chance... Perez can get a point and help us out because Gasly is not getting his points. We can get P4. Gasly on Gasly again. Finally into P8. There's another two points for us. We're catching Leclerc. Can we get Leclerc? Can we get another point? We're really low on tyres. We're going to wait until this last corner. We now push. Can we get Leclerc? Don't think we can. Or can we? Oh, I thought we were going to come around the outside. P4. And sadly, it's going to be P8 with no boost. What a mistake. But we still managed to take 38 points. We take it and move on. But don't try that at home because it is tough. Yeah, I can't believe I did it. Rookie. Rookie mistake. But 38 points. We'll come away with that. And I can't believe we scored more at Monza. It's disgusting. Level 8, level 7 for the rival. And for us, a lot stronger car on the cornering side. So, straight into Spain. Real player, same player as last time. It's the West Ham guy. And we need points. And we need... I mean, yesterday we actually got 47 at this track. We absolutely smashed it. We're going to make sure we use boosts. Still livid. Still livid. 13th and 16th, we are going to go Pierre Gasly on to, we're going to go there, we're going to go there, come on, come on, 47 is a must here, absolute must, so I don't even know, I think we got 46 actually yesterday at Spain, anything like that is a must if you want to beat yesterday's score. We're going to be up against it. We're going to do the little trick off the line, hoping Merlion gives us a fast pit time and we can get a gap into the first corner. P12 and P13. We've made some positions as Gasly now starts to attack up the inside and he's going to make some good positions into P6. 
round the outside of Norris nearly, but Perez is bang there as well. And Perez moves moves past. So what we got? P6 and P7. We're obviously going to have to create a gap here. That gap helps when Gasly moves forward. P5. Let's try and get him past Norris. And we can. P4. Come on. P4, P7. We're running out of firework and Merlion boosts. Hutch being stingy, not giving us any. And now we're back behind the leading trio. Up the inside would be perfect. We're going to get a screenshot of that one as we attack. And we're into P2. And we're into P6. That is good, good start. Gasly's leading. If we can just hunt down Gasly, give us some clean air. Build the gap to Perez. Can we sweep up the inside? Not yet. Perez down to P7. He's attacking though all the time. It's the rival who pushed past us. And Gasly. Looking at the back of Gasly. Can't get through. Still, we race. We're going to still... We need to get past because we need to build a little bit more of a gap. P4 we're in for Perez. And are we now going to get the job done? Yes, we are. P1 for Gasly. Let's make sure we pit with Perez. Good chance of 47 in this race. Come on. We've got a good gap. We've got a decent gap here. Full, full power unit for Perez to push. We're going to double stack, I think, slightly as well. Well, uh, not too bad, actually. So we're out. Gasly in P5. Perez. Oh, a bunch of cars coming. We need to get rid of Zhou Guan Yu here. And we do. We've got the rival ahead of us with Albon in P12. And we are going to just squeak ahead. So rival still got a pit. Not Two-stop doesn't really work around here. So we're going to be well ahead of them. Let's push Leclerc. Push Leclerc past him. Yes, we have pushed Leclerc into him pushing. And he's still going to push, but it doesn't matter for us. We're going to move up. Eventually, we've got a lot of hard tyre pit stops. We have. Right, let's push again. A lot of cars ahead of us here. Can we get past Verstappen in a lowly P10? Who we can't get past at the moment. Let's push again. Now we do. We've got the inside of Verstappen. Rival's about to pit. We're going to get Leclerc, who comes in. Gasly's in the lead. Perez moves up to P4. Two mediums, and I don't think we're going to catch Gasly. I think this was the problem yesterday. We just couldn't catch P2. We might not even catch P3, because P3 is right behind P2. So it might just be a P1, P4, a 45-point run. Them two are fighting, though, so we could catch up. You can see them there, just fighting away on the medium tyres. Round the final corner, one lap to go. Conserving all the time when we can. And are we any closer? We are, but I don't think we're going to trouble them. We are right there though. Right there. We're going to get a bit of ERS power unit into this corner. Can we take both? I don't think we can take any. We haven't got any power unit left either. So I think it's going to be P4. It is. Perez is going to come for P4. Not as many points. We lose a point. We are dropping points in this final round part of the final four races. But we'll take it. No mistakes in that one. Just difficult from the grid positions we start. P1 and P4. So let's show you where we're at so far. What do we need to beat yesterday's score? Let's find out. We're on 302, and I don't think we can actually beat yesterday's score because of the point loss. Yes, we got 47 in Spain yesterday, 46 in race 8. 47 would only bring us to 349, so yeah, race 6 has absolutely killed us on points here. But we're at Baku. There's a good points chance at Baku. Will it be the same guy again? I don't know. But, ah... Uh, bit disappointing we had such a great start to the round as well 
picking up 47s, 46s. Monza was good as well. Just not using a boost on Silverstone has absolutely... Oh, we have got the same guy again. <laughs> Real player. Number three in three races. I'm sure he's sick of me by now. But seven laps to come. Baku. Race eight. It's all about rewards tomorrow, though. Can we get improving this account? Right. 13th and 14th. It is a soft and medium split with boosts. Merlion. And we're going to go save some firework. Street Shark. Come on. It'd be nice to finish on 3, 4, 9. A two point difference to yesterday. Away we go. Get a bit bogged down off the start, which is not the best. Perez took the inside line and here comes Gasly on the inside line. And it is P11 and P13. Come on. Gasly moving forward nicely here. So is Perez. We're in P10 and P12 early on. Just trying to get past Fernando. Got him. And we've got a few more cars. Look at this for a move. Gasly on fire there. Into P7. We need to catch the leaders if we want the Magic 47 to just have a two-point difference. P6 for Gasly. He's going to push again through this middle section. Just going to conserve and then we will attack. Going to go to softs again and he makes a move. Great place to overtake through here. It is literally the best place. Because look at that. We're into P4. And we're into now P8. Really good. Rival pushing on the softs. Can't do anything about that. Because they are on a faster tyre. We're going to push next lap. Gasly's in P2 though. A few pit stops to come. Alright, push ahead. Quite a few people look like they are. Well, at least two, three cars in the pits. We're going to then bring Perez in. Got a few cars ahead of us. Push through this middle section again. And you should see us start making up positions through here. Here comes Leclerc. We're past Leclerc. Then we've got Norris. A bit tight with the Verstappen ahead of us. But we're in P8 with Gasly. And we're up to P4. So great sections to overtake through here. You can see us carrying so much speed. P3. And now we're flying. Now we are motoring. We want the 349. It's not a million miles away though, is it? It's only 27 points we drop in final round. That's just, it's not too bad. It's like free a race pretty much. Gasly takes the lead. Get onto the mediums for Gasly. Perez, we're going to have to push through this section. Just being held off at the moment after his pit stop. A lot of hard tyres out here. So we've got to get past these quick. Including the rival, who's on the hards. And we're not through at the moment. Gasly's going to come in. Can we get past Perez? Yes, we can. Rival will pit. Let's get past Hamilton. And we can serve, because we've still got one more pit stop to do. Won't be next lap. Gasly's already out in P2, though. Fantastic run by him. We're going to push through here. To close the gap. I mean, hard tie of a staff and out front. We are not getting 47 points in this race. No way. Max Verstappen seeming pretty strong at the minute. Let's push these two, though. Try and build a gap. He's not a million miles away, but with Perez about to pit, sends him a good 10 seconds back again. Conserve down the straight. Perez into the pits. Gasly carries on round. Just trying to build that power unit at the minute for the next lap. Where's Perez going to come out? It's only going to be P9. That's a bit annoying. Can we push ahead though? Can we get past Russell and the Ferrari fighting at the minute? We're a bit bogged down. We now get Russell. Nice move on Sainz would be good. Yes, there you go. Is Gasly closing? Not enough. You can see how far back Perez is now. This is going to be a late lunge if we're going to get this red ball. You can see he's already halfway down this straight. I don't think we're going to get him. 
Perez is conserving still. He is catching up though. And now we're going to hit the uh, gas. Gasly is closing rapid now. Perez is stuck behind Hamilton. Finally, we're through. Gasly's attacking Verstappen. We are into the lead. Get in. Perez is motoring as well. Trying to get past into P4. He's stuck right behind Norris. But he does get him. I think that's going to be it. I think it's going to be a P1 and P4. What is a 45-point run? There you go. It is a 45-point run. Rival coming home in what? Is it P11, P12? Yes, P11, P12. Oh, it's difficult in that last four races. Very difficult. We do beat the rival. We'll just double check again what he was running. Eight and seven, Leclerc, Verstappen and a very balanced car. But let's show you then. It's a, it's a decrease in points. Probably because of Silverstone. Annoyingly. 3-4-7 is what we finish on. You can see yesterday we scored. Let's compare the scores. 45 points in race one. 47 today. 40, well, 39 points yesterday. 46 today. We were well ahead at this point. Race 3, 41. We dropped a point. Race 4, 42 versus 46. We dropped 4 points in that one. Final round, we gained 2 points in Monza. Big one was Silverstone. Look, 45 points in opening round. 38 in race 6. And then we finished with 45 and 45 today. Yesterday, 47, 46. So just a couple of races. But that boost mistake really has cost us that is where our points have dropped today we could we only needed four points and i think definitely silverstone played a part but make sure to let me know down below how you've got on good luck for rewards and hopefully this evening will be live for the main account full round